All right, I'm pretty excited to talk to you today about this one. So I've been testing out a 40 inch 5K ultra wide display with my M4 iPad Pro. And I'm actually kind of shocked because it works and it works really well. This display renders everything beautifully and the amount of screen that I have here is ridiculous. And with the new iPad OS 26 windowing features, you can now take full advantage of having a display this size. You can even have four windows open at once on the screen and you can actually see all of them well enough to tell what's going on. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and if you know your iPad Pro well enough, you know that it can only connect to one external display. And technically, that's kind of a big disadvantage if you're trying to do real work on the iPad. But if you connect to an ultra-wide display, it's not really much of a disadvantage at all. Ultra-wide displays are made to give you the same amount of screen real estate as two monitors, and you don't have that annoying pixel break in the middle where the monitor splits, so it's just one giant beautiful piece of glass. And what's crazy is the display I'm talking about is a 5K 40 inch display with a 100 hertz refresh rate and it's less than half the price of the Apple Studio display which I'll be honest is starting to feel outdated. So in this video I want to give you a rundown on what it's like to use a display this big with my M4 iPad Pro. I also want to show you some of those iPad OS 26 features on this magnificent display. Now I'm using the iPad OS 26 public beta so these features are aren't quite released yet, but if you've got the beta, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And I have other content on the iPad OS 26 beta. You can check that out on my channel. Now, the display I'll be talking about specifically today is provided by the company Innocent. And so thank you, Innocent, for providing this display. It's beautiful, and I can't wait to talk about it. Now, I want to cover the specs of this display and what all you get for the price point. And I also want to tell you the ins and outs of how I connect my iPad to this display because it's not like a computer, like a PC or a Mac. So you don't have as many settings options to change the ratio of the display and things like that, but I'll show you the specific cables and setup that I use to make this display work for me. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this monitor by Innocent is a 40 inch 5K display with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It's 5120 by 2160p, and it's priced in at $999 on Amazon, but it's actually on sale right now for $749, and that's under half the price of the Apple Studio display, which is three years old and is almost $1,600. These two displays aren't quite apples to apples, but I'm just giving you a price point reference. So with this display, you do get built-in speakers, and they sound pretty good when I'm gaming on this display or if I'm watching a show. Speakers come in loud and clear. There's plenty of volume. The monitor does not come with a built-in webcam, but I'm not really bothered by that because my iPad Pro has that covered. Now, I really like the stand of this display because you can move it in several different angles. So the display does pivot from left to right. You can also raise the display up and down on its stand and you can tip the display forward and backward to get the right viewing angle so pretty good stand was provided here and it was also super easy to set up you just snap in the one leg there's one little screw on the bottom screw that in good to go now let's talk about how you connect to the display so there are a few port options you do have a USB-C port to connect or you can connect via HDMI and there are a couple of ports for that this monitor doesn't really work as a port hub like the Apple Studio display so I didn't use it to connect any external hard drives to my iPad or anything like that. Now, one thing I'll note about this monitor is that it came with a USB-C cable, but when I used it to connect to my iPad, it looked all washed out. So I did some testing and I used an Apple Thunderbolt 4 cable and everything rendered beautifully. So if you get a monitor like this, you may want to invest in a Thunderbolt 4 cable because your iPad Pro does support that. Now, you can also connect with an HDMI cable and I just used this Apple adapter to connect in that fashion. And this is actually my preferred method for connection because it actually renders everything on the display pretty darn well, including gaming and shows. Things look a little stretched out when you use this method, but it's not terrible and it's still my preferred way of using the monitor. Okay, so let's talk about what working on the iPad Pro with an ultra wide display looks like. So iPad OS 26 has some amazing new windowing features that just weren't available before. It makes your iPad Pro a whole lot more like a Mac. And so you have much more sizing control over over your windows and so it's very easy to pull up two windows side by side if I've got two spreadsheets going at once that is beautiful on this ultra wide display it's seriously like having two monitors so if you've been working on your M4 iPad Pro and you're really wanting more screen real estate an ultra wide might be the way to go for you with those new windowing features in iPad OS 26 you've got the little stoplight buttons in the top left corner of each window and so you can use those to resize or you can just press and hold and you'll get some options to resize your window 
windows specifically. So I could have four Safari windows open at once and I could size them to where they all just had their own portion of the screen. And you can actually see them all and tell what's going on. It's pretty darn cool having this big of a screen to take advantage of that feature. The screen is also gorgeous for editing video. Final Cut Pro looks great on it and I can pull up my script in the notes app right next to it to follow along. I mean, it's pretty cool to have this much screen real estate. So gaming is one of my favorite things to do on my iPad Pro. And there's some pretty intense gaming you can do that a lot of people don't know about. I'm not really talking about mobile gaming, although that is pretty good, but I'm talking about things like Xbox cloud gaming. And so I can get access to the Xbox library through their cloud gaming service. And so one of my favorite games on there is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It's absolutely fantastic. And it looks great on this ultra wide display. And so you get a full view of the game. A lot of people love having an ultra wide display specifically for gaming. So you get that ultra wide view. The colors look great. It's just a good experience. And the built-in speakers make it sound really awesome. Now, another way I like to game is using Shadow PC. And so if you haven't heard of that, it's a cloud service that supplies a PC in the cloud. And I basically use this to turn my iPad into a fully functioning PC. I've got other content on that if you're curious about that. But mainly the reason I use Shadow PC is for gaming. And so one of my favorite games is World of Warcraft. And I'm pretty partial to the classic version. But the retail version also looks great, as you can see here. And the cinematics look good. It's just awesome to see it in that 21 by 9 aspect ratio. And you've just got such a wide viewing angle that you just don't have on a standard display. It's really cool. There are so many other games that look great on Shadow PC. I can't hardly go through them all. I'll come out with more gaming content soon. So shows also look great on it, whether I'm using HBO Max or Disney Plus so I can stream a movie. It takes advantage of the full display as long as you're connecting via HDMI. If you connect with that Thunderbolt cable, it's going to go back to that 16 by 9 ratio. I'm not really sure why it does that. That's definitely not the monitor. That is an iPad OS thing. But if you connect with HDMI, you get that full display or you can shrink the video down and have something else going on while you watch your movie. And there's more than enough screen real estate to do it all. All right, that's my review on using an ultra wide display with the M4 iPad Pro and iPad OS 26 and using all that awesome windowing ability. Thanks again to Innocent for providing this display so I could test it out with my iPad Pro. Beautiful display. Just for the record, I did test it with a Dell PC that I have from work and there are no issues at all when I connect it to a PC. It looks beautiful as well. Let me know if you have questions about this display or the experience that I've had with it using my iPad. Just leave a comment below. I'll check those out. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.